Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today I'm going to be giving you guys a rundown of my current favorites right now. I know it's been a really hot minute since I've done a favorites video, but I mentioned before in the past that I didn't really want to do the whole monthly favorites thing. I'm just kind of kind of be throwing out a favorites video every now and then when I feel like I've accumulated a good amount of actual products that I can say I've been using for quite some time because sometimes even a month isn't long enough to know if you really, really, truly love a product and sometimes a day is enough. But for me, I like to really know that over time I'm using something so frequently that I just have to share it with you guys and let you guys know what exactly I have at the top of my list right now as far as beauty picks. I'm not gonna drag out this intro, let's just jump right into it. So first of all, I really wanna talk about these new, well they're not really new anymore, but they're still fairly new to the market and they are the Balm Cosmetics Meet Matte Hughes Liquid Lipsticks. They have a nice variety of colors within the line. I am wearing one right now and it's this shade here. This one is called Honest. And what I really like about these liquid lipsticks in particular is the fact that their formula is so good. They are one of the most comfortable matte liquid lipsticks that I've worn in a while. And like I said, I really love their shade range. Also, you guys know I'm kind of big on scents when it comes to lip products. These smell like straight up thin mints. That's what they remind me of. They have a nice minty yet sweet smell and almost like a hint of chocolate. I don't know what it is, but absolutely love the scent. And like I said, the wear of them are so comfortable. They do last for a very long time and they don't feel super drying, but the pigmentation is also spot on. And the applicator applies the lip color very, very nicely. It's just like your regular Dofa applicator that you usually see. It has a moussey texture to it, so it's not very runny, but I'm really, really loving these. I have all of the shades. If you guys wanna see a swatch video of all of the shades from this line, then by all means, let me know down below in the comments, and I'll be happy to do one for you. Next up is gonna be something that I totally owe it to you guys, my subscribers, for showing me the light to this amazing product, and I can't believe I've been missing out this whole time on it, but, I went and finally got my hands on the, I'm saying it Cotty, I don't know if it's Cody or Cotty, but I'm calling it Cotty, Airspun Loose Face Powder. Seriously, I don't know where this has been my whole life. Um, I have to say I did have some reservations about it um, before I was going to go buy it just because I recognized the packaging from like somewhere back in the day. I don't know who or what person in my family had this, but I know I had seen this before and I just was in such disbelief that this powder could actually be that good. But I went out, bought it. Obviously it wasn't a big risk to buy it because it's so inexpensive. I think I got mine for like under $3 at Walmart. And I'm loving it. Literally the first time I tried it, I knew this was such a must have and like I said I can't believe I went this long without even knowing about it or without even trying it so I have to thank all of you guys for leaving your suggestions in one of my other review videos where I reviewed a loose powder you guys thank you thank you thank you so much for showing me this product and my mom freaked out when she saw that I had bought this because she remembered this also from back in her day this is what she would use and she couldn't believe that it was still around and she also couldn't believe how popular it has become. So again, thank you guys for showing me the way to this powder. By far one of the best face powders. Uh, this is all I've been using to bake lately and it is spectacular. And I feel like my face and my makeup has never looked better nor has it held up for so long because of this powder. Moving on, this concealer has been such a game changer for me and it's been around for a long time and I know it's kind of already popular in the beauty world, but I barely like I said, got around to buying it, trying it out for myself. And it is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. Definitely nothing new. If you are a regular beauty YouTube watcher, then I'm sure most of your other favorite beauty YouTubers have talked about this at some point. This definitely is a great concealer. I will say the color is a little bit more on the cool side. It doesn't have a lot of yellow to it. I don't think any of the shades have a lot of yellow to it. So if you're someone that likes yellow or needs yellow, this probably wouldn't be a good line for you to choose from. But if you're on the fairer side or have more of the like cool undertones, this is gonna be a great concealer for you. I like it because it is very 
long wearing for me and it stays matte and I love to use it for highlighting and concealing underneath my eyes so it just holds up really well. This in conjunction with most of my foundations plus the Nivea Men aftershade balm plus baking it's bulletproof concealer, I kid you not. And I'm already down to the very last of mine, so I'm definitely gonna have to go out and buy a replacement. Another thing that I found at the drugstore that I have been loving recently, I always use the Biore strips to remove my blackheads, and it, they've always worked fairly well on me, but I saw these in the store and I thought, why not give it a try? The whole charcoal trend seems to be really big right now, especially for those of us who have oily skin. So these Biore charcoal, pore strips. Oh my god. If I thought I was able to remove almost all of my blackheads before with the regular white strips, these are 100 times better. I literally feel like I can take out everything with these strips. Um, even my best friend told me, she goes, what are you doing because your nose is looking really good these days. She's like, I can't see that you have any blackheads or any whiteheads like around your nose. And I usually will get a buildup. I mean, I'm very oily. I wear makeup, everything. So it's not that surprising that my pores get clogged, especially on this inner part of my face. So these have helped so much. I highly recommend them. If you have problem areas with blackheads or whiteheads on your nose, try the charcoal strips they are going to like suck everything out i promise you next i'm going to talk about these pair of lashes that have just been my favorite so these are the house of lashes smoky muse lashes these have become one of my favorite lash styles by far they are almost like a cross between the ardell demi wispies and the wispies just like infused into one they have a bit of a shorter end but then stacked they have longer wispy strands so they really do look very full and fluttery and almost natural so they look really good with natural makeup looks but they're still full enough to where if you wanted to pair it with a very dramatic eye it would look just as bomb i absolutely love them one last budget find that i am glad that i tried again because i've tried this product in the past and i wasn't all that happy with it it is the real technique sponge so many of you have asked me about this sponge, what my thoughts and opinions were on it. I told a lot of you that I tried it in the past and I did not like it whatsoever. I actually hated it the first time I tried this, which was about maybe two, three years ago. And I don't know what it was. I just felt like it didn't apply my makeup very well. I felt like the pores on this sponge were a lot bigger. The makeup was just getting soaked. I don't know if that's true, I don't know if it's changed or if my memory is just like mixed up for some reason, but that's how I remembered it. So I went out, bought it again to try it out, and I am obsessed with this sponge. It's definitely a lot more squishy than the Beauty Blender, which is a little bit more stiff. Don't get me wrong, I still love my Beauty Blenders. I will use either or of these sponges. But if you're someone who is on a budget, you do not have those 25 whatever dollars to spend on a beauty blender, try the Real Technique sponge, use it the exact same way, wet it, really soak it, squeeze out all the excess, excess water, get it to where it's nice and fluffy and has a lot of buoyancy to it, and it's going to work just as well, maybe if not better, than the Beauty Blender. Next, we're going to move on to a brow product, which is very popular right now, and Either you love it or hate it, I personally ended up loving it. It is the Anastasia Brow Definer. If you guys are used to the Brow Wiz, want to try something different, this gets your brow done like so fast. It is very easy to use in my opinion, although I've heard mixed reviews. Um, I'm already running down to the very last of it and my product kind of fell out, which I've heard is a common thing. I've kind of noticed a lot of people have been saying that about it, so I'm not sure if it's a bad thing or if it's just what you should expect to happen. But either way, I am loving this product. It gets my brows done so fast, so for me it's like a win-win because boom, brows are done. And last but not least, I have two lip liners that I want to talk about. These lip liners are amazing. So first of all, they're from Graftobian, and I love them. One, because can we just appreciate how much product you get in this? This is an insane amount of lip liner in one product. And the colors of these, they have that natural lip liner look, so you can do a lot of cool ombre looks with this uh, lip liner or use it as your lipstick altogether, get that nice Kylie Jenner lip thing going on. 
and this one is in natural and it's just as it said it's very natural it's a very pretty warm nude here's the swatch of natural they're very creamy they're not super matte but they don't move and this one is called sultry siren which is a little bit deeper in color but again, it creates a really nice ombre lip for you. Actually, these two would be really great together. So that wraps up all of my current favorites for right now. If you guys have any questions about any of the products mentioned in this video, let me know down below in the comments. I'm more than happy to answer you. And let me know if you have any other video requests. I will be doing prom tutorials pretty soon to help you guys out. Let me know if you have any ideas on those. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.